Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I decided to do a brow tutorial. As y'all can see, I don't have my brows on right now, but if you guys could see before I would put brow products on, my brows aren't the fullest. They're pretty okay, like right here, but I don't have a lot of brow hairs right here. And I think that's because back in the day when, well, two things. One, when thin brows were in, I plucked away in sixth grade and I'm like, ugh. And then two, I had a uni and I took a razor and bloop and it took off too much. And I just feel like ever since then, it's just never been the same. So I don't know. So I thought I would try out a new brow product. So I'm gonna be trying out the new Dip Brow Gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is in medium brown. I'll show you guys here, here is the packaging. And here it just says the name and then it has the shade on there. Here's what the product looks like. It is a little bit smaller and skinnier in comparison to their clear brow gel. I'm assuming this one just definitely has a little bit more pigment, but it will set the brows and add a tint. And here is the wand applicator. So it's very precise. It's not as small as the Gimme Brow from Benefit as far as the wand part. So I just swatched the color. I swatched granite in store and I was like, oh my God, that was so dark. So I decided to go with medium brown and just stick to what I have been using as far as the color in the Dip Brow. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know the Dip Brow is one of my favorite brow products. I have been pretty much just lining my brows with this, lightly shading it in either with a powder or a pencil, depending on the look that I want, but I've always been setting my brows with a mascara. That was always my go-to tip and trick that I would use to give myself that fuller looking brow, that kind of fluffy caterpillar type brow. You can use it multiple ways. So you can use it to shade in the brow with a brush you can also set the brow so I'm curious to see how it compares to what I'm normally used to using so what I'm first gonna do is just apply the dip brow gel by itself go in and do my normal brow routine like lining the brow and kind of using it multiple ways <music> So I must say, I know I was kind of like silent while applying it, but I was just, just taking my time and kind of going through the thought process of everything. What I love about it is it does bring out the natural brow hairs, but it does add a nice tint. I was being very light handed. I will say the first time I shot this using this, I kind of put too much pressure when using it and it was super intense. So like I said, the dip brow in general is just a little bit more of an intense product, but you definitely have total control over how your brows can look with the dip brow. But the way I did this and I used a very light hand and I made sure I brushed up to kind of give that fuller look that my mascara normally gives me. And I like it. I actually, wow, much better. So key tip that I have is make sure you don't press hard down onto it because there's a lot of product on that brush even though it doesn't look like a lot so if you were to press down and like apply you're gonna have so much product if you just keep a light hand it's just gonna gradually add that tint that you would want. I just wanna make a disclaimer that yes, I did use the product when filming the first part of the video and I wasn't a fan of how I looked in it. So I decided to start all over again. And I don't know if you can just tell like for a good every day, if you just wanted to quickly do something to your brows, it does add a nice tint. You definitely get a little bit more pigment if you've used the Gimme Brow from Benefit. Not gonna lie, I do love the Gimme Brow. I feel like it's great. It's very precise. This wand is just a little bit bigger, but it's nothing too jumbo. I was thinking about going in with a pencil to shade in, but I think I'm just gonna try my best to see what I can get out of this. I don't know if you guys can see the difference. Very sparse, missing, you know, not looking filled. Or there's no definition to my brow, but this one, this is usually not my favorite brow. Actually, this one is my go-to brow. I have to see what number this brush is. I'll probably put it here on the screen once I look it up, but this is an Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. Just a smaller one and it has the spoolie on the end and I'm gonna use the dip brow gel. So I'm just gonna take some of that product off the side of that wand. You can use it on the tip here, you can dip into the product. <laughs> I'm using very minimal product. I'm just literally using what I applied to the brush. And what I'm doing is just lightly shading it, but I wanna use very little product because if you use a lot of product, especially with the dip brow, it can really make the brows look boxy and bold. 
And if that's the type of brow look that you're going for, definitely go for it. I also will say, if you've ever used the dip brow, you know a fresh pomade just glides on. But what's nice about the brow gel is it is a little bit more liquidy. So you have that move time with it to blend and not have to work so hard to achieve. So also keep in mind, you can do the outlining and the shading in first and then go in with the product. But I just wanted to see how it would look without anything. So next I'm just going to mimic brow hairs here. So since I wasn't recording and I thought I was, what I said off camera was I'm going to take my foundation, which is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in Barcelona. You guys can use a concealer or any other type of brow definer to carve out your brows. I already started the process. I'm so annoyed. But I'm using this number 20 brush. I use this for brow application and also for carving out the brows. Nice and flat and precise. And it really just, as y'all can see, gives a good carvation that was not right not carvation y'all know what i mean so i did line the brow and i'm just bringing this usually i would do brows and then foundation and then eyes or like brows and then like eyeshadow oh she's sharp what i'm gonna do is just take that shadow brush so I will say with the whole dip brow gel, it's liquidy, but how I can compare it is if you were to ever add a oil or like a beauty oil into your dip brow, that's what it kind of resembles, if that makes sense. If you've never done that, you guys are probably clueless to what I'm saying. But if you have done that process before, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. People always ask too, like, how do you do your brows before foundation? Literally, that's why I love carving my brows with my foundation I'm gonna be using. Carve around it, I kind of bring it up a little bit when i go in with foundation i literally don't even have to get close to my brows because i have that foundation there and i just work around it so there you have today's tutorial with brows using the new dip brow gel i'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts on what i think about this product so by itself if you just wanted to quickly add a tint and set the brows and if you're in a rush it's a great product i will say keep a light hand when using it just because the pigment is so intense it's not like a clear brow gel but i will say the brow really looks complete when you do carve it out or just kind of outline the brow. The color is perfect. I'm so happy I did not go with granite. The medium brown, it does look deep, but it's more in the cooler tone. And this is what medium brown looks like. I must say, I do like this product, but I'm gonna try and get a couple uses out of this product. And for the price point of $18, which the dip brow itself is also $18, it's a great price point, I feel like, for a brow product. But with this, it's gonna add that tint. It's gonna set the brows. I believe it is waterproof, if I'm not mistaken. Keep in mind, this video is not sponsored. All opinions are my own, but I thought I'd try it out. It's a winner for me. I'm gonna definitely keep on using it. I would say if you guys are debating on a color, buy them out at Sephora. They have spoolies there. You can definitely get an idea on that, but I just love a cool tone brow, and that's why I went with medium brown. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe, give the video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.